Hi, my name is Andy Arnovitz, and I'm one of the artists currently showing works in the new show Trespassing at the Islamic Museum. I'd like to tell you a little bit about the two pieces that I have in the show. The first piece for making me according to your will, which is done with paper, film, and watercolors, is really about my, my dismay, my sense of dismay with one of the morning brachot, one of the morning blessings that's said every single day. Men say for not making me a woman, which no matter how you want to explain this, it's insulting to women. Women say for making me according to your will. With respect to the implication of this blessing, I'm focusing here on the difficulties of menopause with its associated osteoporosis. Is the, and I'm asking, is this part of God's will? That through fulfilling the commandment of pru or vu, of being fruitful and multiplying, we damage our bodies and we suffer later through the cessation of our cycles. The obsession with blood, specifically menstrual blood, to which pages and pages of Talmudic discourse have been devoted is addressed here in this specific piece. Visually, the life force is leaking out of the body with the bones being damaged along the way. And both of these pieces were done on light boxes because I wanted to somehow convey the sense that almost like an x-ray, our bodies are transparent. The rabbinic laws are looking at us as if we're under the microscope, almost as if they can see through us. The other piece in the show is called Be Fruitful and Multiply. And this piece specifically addresses the obsession with reproduction that's in every religion, but especially within Judaism. This refers to the rabbinic discussions about the ability to create life, the minute rabbinic details discussing birth, vaginal birth versus cesarean birth, miscarriage, infertility. Tractate Nida of the Gemara specifically, especially illuminates and discusses every possible aspect of menstrual blood, postpartum blood. All of these kinds of things are reflected in this piece. And it also addresses the endless cycles within a woman's natural lifetime, the eggs fertilized and the ones not realized. At the same time, this is kind of an homage to all women, to the potential that we have within our bodies, the holiness of this potential, the gift of this potential. Um, and so on the, on the other hand, when you look at this piece, it's almost as if there's a million flowers blooming um, because I think that that sort of refers to the beautiful potential we have to create life. It's an honor to be part of this exhibition. I invite all of you, as soon as everything returns to normal, to visit the museum, to see this incredible show curated by Dr. Sigal Barkai, and to experience this up close and personally. Thank you.